Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today's edition is, I got this, which is my version of mail day. And uh, we have three packages to open today. Um, I have uh, this one that I got from Mercari. And then uh, this one here is from uh, Eric Jabs. I'm a member of his Patreon. And so um, this is my little gift for giving him uh, a monthly donation. And uh, this here is going to be part of the prize for my uh, giveaway, which will be uh, coming up on Thanksgiving. So there's still time to get involved in that. And I'll show you what, um, which, what you possibly can win. So let's go ahead and just crack these open. I already know what this one is for sure. Um, this is a, I believe this is a Tua Tag of Violoa card, rookie card that I ordered. Oh, it's all like really well packed. This is the kind of packing that I appreciate. And uh, this is just difficult. There we go. I'm trying not to. Oh man, it's not even in a, I don't think it's even in a hard, in a top loader. Oh, no, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, see, like, I'm, I'm starting to feel like Mercari is a bunch of um, crappy sellers. I've had my last couple people, unless you, like, go with someone that you're familiar with, like um, Will's Collectibles, I, I use him often, you know. And it, when I go with Will's Collectibles, I know everything is going to be perfect, but... I mean, this wasn't even in a um, in a top loader. I, I can't. Uh, I don't see it being damaged in any way. But let me grab one real quick. Sorry. To get this uh, set up properly. There we go. All right. So this is the way you should have sent it. What's this guy's name? Chris Shavira. No. No. But we're okay now. So, yeah, so I got the um, absolute uh, to a uh, take a Violola rookie card. So, um, you know, not nothing huge, but I want to get a few of his cards into my collection before uh, he gets so big that, uh, you know, they're, they're priced out of my range. So, so we have that today, which is great. And then let's open up the Eric Jabs. We, we did this um, in my first edition of... I got this in the mail um, of Eric Jabs. It was all a bunch of um, junk wax packs, which, you know, are fun to open, but there's nothing you haven't seen before. And here's how you, I mean, this is how you pack it. I mean, this is really well done. Um, you know, and these are just crappy, you know, junk wax packs. So, I mean, put that kind of time and effort into this, but you can't put, you know, can't put a top loader on a one card that I, you know, paid full price, paid for shipping. I mean, come on. Oh, this is maybe a little too much. All right, let's see what we got here. We have an 89 tops pack. We definitely have seen enough of those. And if you've watched my videos, that was part of the last giveaway. Then we have a 92 Series 3, which um, has that King. I, I did that also. I did this um, one for a uh, Time Travel Tuesday looking for uh, Ken Griffey cards, and that worked out pretty well. Uh, we had we got two in that one. And then uh, here is a, is this 91? It's so hard to tell. I think this is 91 or 92 Leaf. Um, I don't know. We'll find out, right? And here's three more packs. We have an 88 Tops and a 91 score and a 90 upper deck so some of these we had in the last batch and some of these are going to be new let's get the stabbing knife off the screen and um i guess let's start with 88 tops and we'll see what we, we find in here oh there's the gum this is not nearly as moldy as some of the other ones that we pulled in uh in my last uh, time travel Tuesday. So uh, so here's uh, Steve Trout, Acker, Pedro Guerrero, 
Steve Henderson, Tim Leary. I don't know, it's Doc Gooden. There's Doyle Alexander. He uh, came over to the Tigers and went 11 and 0 um, when we traded for him in 87. So Kevin Bass, Icorn, Tim Wallach, uh, All Star. His son is in the major of playing uh, catcher for the Marlins, Chad Wallach. Neil Heaton, Juan Castillo, Smithson, Lindemann, and Tom Hankey, All Star. All right, next we're going to open up the 89. This we've already seen like a ton of. I mean, I don't really need to go down this road anymore, but we'll just take a look and see what we have here. So we have, we get focused, there's Kingry and Bever, Luis Salazar, Mark Clear is Dibbs, Rob Dibble, one of the nasty boys, Tom Her, Tom Her. He once had 100 RBIs batting leadoff. That's going to be, what year was that? 1985. So 110 RBIs from the leadoff spot. Doug Drabic, Pedro Guerrero once again, an all-star of Julio Franco. Guillermo Hernandez, also known as Willie Hernandez, MVP and um, Cy Young Award winner in 84 for the Tigers. Herman Jimenez. Steve Searcy, Steve Antaveros. Oh, there's uh, the Randy Johnson rookie card. Oh, no, is this the gum card? I guess it was. <laughs> I can sort of feel it, but I can't. I don't see a ton of residue, a little bit. But hey, at least we got one of the major rookie cards um, from this set. So, of course, uh, the Craig Biggio is probably the most um, sought after in this collection. But we'll take a Randy Johnson. So... That's not so bad. Let's go ahead and crack open this leaf and see what year this is. I think it's 91, but it's pretty difficult to tell on the on the wrapper. So let's see what we have here. Well, we got George Brett on the back. So Mike Morgan, Gerald Perry. Uh, the black border. I'm not sure what that what that means, but uh, Bob Malacky, Brent Main, Mark Leiter, Scott Leis, Sweet Music, Frank Viola, Robbie Thompson, Charles Nagy, Scott Servais, Scott Livingston, Jaime Navarro, oh, checklist. Peter Bryan, and there's a Hall of Famer, George Brett. So nothing too exciting in there, just uh, we got George Brett. I guess that's not too shabby. And then let's crack this one open too. So this is 92 Series 3, so these are the high number cards. And I'd love to pull another uh, Griffey out of this. Um, what is it like? It? So we got to flip it here. At least, and you know, like the ones that I opened were bricked. So at least this, these are a little bit um, fresher. So Eddie Zosky, Wayne Edwards, and uh, Dickie Fawn, Kurt Wilkerson. Hey, Randy Johnson. That's a nice looking card. Shows the rookie cards on the back. So Hall of Famer, uh, who's this guy? Oh, Bill Pulsiver. He's one of the uh, big three Mets from that era. It was him, Todd Van Poppel, and, um, oh shoot, now I'm going to blank on the third guy, but um, none of the three really, oh, Jason Isringhausen. So those were the three, and I think Iz Izzy had a pretty good career for the uh, Cardinals in my uh, Oakland days. There's Steve Wilson and Mike Wald Walkden. I have no idea who that is. And Mike Jackson, Chris Hammond. Oh, these are a little bit ripped. Rick Aguilera. Javier Hernandez, or Xavier, I should say. And uh, Doug Jones. Like, this guy looked perpetually 40 years old. <laughs> Whatever team he was on, he always looked like he was 40. And Greg Jeffries. 
Okay, so nothing too exciting there. I mean, that's the thing with these Junk Wax era cards. I mean, you're never going to get anything that's going to set your world on fire, but this was, like I've, I've mentioned in other videos, this was a period where I really stopped collecting. So um, a lot of these cards, although I've seen them in other videos, I've never really held them in my own hands. So this is the 90 edition. Find the Reggie. I want to find the Reggie. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, Raphael Belliard. Uh, Mike Aldretti. Israel Sanchez. Terry Mulholland. Craig Lefferts. Jeff Innes. Greg Swindell. Sticker of uh, the Orioles. And then uh, Dave Schmidt, Mark Langston, Scott Scudder. Yeah, nothing too exciting. No Reggie's in here, I don't think. Uh, Dean Palmer, Brian Fisher, Ernie Witt, Tiger Killer. And uh, here's a Reggie Jackson card. So I guess we are getting one Reggie Jackson card in here. Six of nine. So it's a you know it's a parallel set. Um, I don't think that's a real autograph, right? I don't think so. Um, and then uh, Eric Hansen. So last pack, and then we'll crack this open. I know there's some packs in um, this that I can open today, and then I'll show you the uh, 1985 rack pack that I'll be giving away in, in my uh, contest. So right now there are 11 names on the wheel. And I can show you that real quick too. I've actually got it pulled up on my computer. So if you're curious, you can see who's on there. And all you have to do is go to the initial video that I created for the contest, which was the 1991 Upper Deck Football, where we were looking for Brett Favre cards. I'll put the, um, I'll put the link in the description or I should put in the comments below, and then you can click on it and then enter the contest. So there's Paul Molitor, Mike Scott, Chris Basio, Harold Reynolds. We have K-Man, Mark Langston. We have a 90 highlight of Carlton Fisk. Home run record. That must have been home run record for catchers, I'm assuming. Uh, Alan Newman, longtime first base coach for the um, Twins. Tim Tuffle, Black Border of Dave Smith, and Steve Wilson, Jeff Musselman, Gerald Perry. Um, we have Matt Williams, Gino Petrali, Doug Desenzo, and Greg Gagne. So, okay, so nothing, nothing too exciting there. So let's crack this one open, and then uh, we'll take a look at this, the spinning wheel. Try not to stab myself. I don't feel like this is well packaged either. I'm not really sure what this person was trying to do. I guess it's bubble wrapped. And then is it in a, oh, it's in a secondary box. So I take that back. Good job by him. 1985 Tops Rack Pack. Take care when taking rack out. Yes, of course. Especially for my subscribers, we will open with care as he takes a jagged knife and jabs it through the center of the box. Okay. So he did include, I think, some 91 upper deck in here. It was all part of the sale. Um, 91 upper deck. So we'll open those up. Those have Nolan Ryans in them. And okay, there's the rack pack. And that's what everyone wants to see. So this was on sale at Collector's World for $10, which this could be a steal, right? Cards look like they're in pretty good shape. You'll see who's on the top there. Donnie Moore, Candy Maldonado. We have a Gary Carter All-Star on the back. I don't really, really know who's in the back. On the back, we have Frank LaCourte, Alfredo Griffin, and last but not least is Kiko Garcia. So... This will be the prize for um, my Thanksgiving, thanks to my subscribers, giveaway. 
And uh, we're going to put this aside nicely. And um, the rookie cards in there that we're going to be looking for when, when we open that up uh, are going to be the Roger Clemens rookie card, the Mark McGuire rookie card, and also Kirby Puckett. So those are the cards we'll be looking for uh, when we do that, uh, that pack opening. So we'll just, we'll just open these real quick and see if there's anything of note in here. Uh, we have uh, Terry Mulholland, Glenn Davis, that, and uh, Terry Kennedy. Oh, these are all flipped around, of course. Uh, Doug Drabick, Steve Bouchelle, Dave Martinez, manager now, right? Or I don't know, is he still managing? I guess maybe he's not. Uh, Brent Nackert, Jose Canseco, Juan Augusto, John Shelby. Um, this is a Matt Williams card, Teddy Higuera, Dutch Dalton, Eric Anthony. I know these cards, um, I, some people really like them because they can mail them off, get autographs on them. You know, the, I watch a lot of videos of people doing through the mail. And I think it's cool that people enjoy that um, part of the hobby. But for me, I don't really care. Like, if I mailed this off to Randy Reddy and he autographed it and sent it back to me, I would still not care about this card. I mean, I, I don't understand. Like, if it was Ozzy Smith, then, you know, there's a Hall of Famer and that would be sweet. But the generic baseball players of this era, I don't understand what the value is. Um, on a personal level or a, on a collection level, like I don't want, I wouldn't want Todd Burns autograph, but I would want Lee Smith because he's a Hall of Famer. Um, so you know, I, I don't, I don't get that part of the hobby. And um, maybe someone can explain it to me why having a Jody Reed autograph um, somehow makes you happy. Uh, Randy Myers is another per member of the Nasty Boys. Charlie O'Brien, uh, Kurt Schilling, is this a Kurt Schilling rookie card? Can't remember. Let's take a look real quick. Nope, he did, well, he had a couple of years there. I'm not sure if this was an official rookie card, but he was still being used as a reliever. And he'll probably get into the Hall of Fame this year. Um, so there's Sandy Alomar, I believe. This is Carlton Fisk for the White Sox. And um, we have Bob Ojeda, Edgar Diaz, Paul Abbott. And these packs are really easy to open. This is like the most flimsy paper I've ever tried to crack open. So here we have, uh, we have uh, Sabes, Brett Saberhagen. We have Gary Pettis, Chuck Finley, Chuck Krim, Dwight Evans, and his, uh, yeah, toward his, the end of his Red Sox career. He did have that one year with the Orioles, which just looked weird. Um, Scott Ciamparino and Smoltzy. Not a rookie card, right? Nope, third year. Jim Vatcher, Lemke, Pedro Guerrero, Reamer, Burke, and Craig Worthington. So, yeah, nothing too exciting here. Got a couple couple um, Hall of Famers in there. And we're looking at Greg Vaughn, Harold Reynolds. He seems to be in all of these. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. Probably the one Hall of Famer I would maybe consider taking back out if I had one to choose to take out of the Hall of Fame. It might be, might be uh, Harold Baines, who was just a stat compiler. Um, he had a great beginning to his career, and then... I mean, he tailed off, but he, he, you know, he kept hitting for until he was probably in his 40 years old at least. It was Bip Roberts, mm, uh, Joe Gray, who was closer for the Astros for a while. Jose, I mean, not the Astros, Angels. It was Jose Oquendo, it was Juan Berenguer, and uh, Andres Thomas, Rick Aguilera. And it was a Nolan Ryan card. So, yeah, this is... This is, you know, it's not the most exciting thing I've ever uh, done in my life. Tom Gordon, Scott Ruskin, 
Wilfredo Cordero, Mark Gubigza. We have uh, oh, Rob Deere. He was the first walk-off home run I ever saw in the time he was with Detroit. Uh, the bashing years, there's uh, Mark McGuire and Bruce Ruffin, Walt Weiss, uh, Roberto Alomar, back on the Padres. So this is, a, what is that, third year card as well. Rico Bronia, uh, Tim Nearing, Tom Hankey, and Jose Uribe, Julio Felix, uh, Junior Felix, and Don Robinson. A few more packs. So yeah, here in El Paso, we are still <laughs> we're still in shelter in place, but um, the local government is. Uh, defying the order. So uh, I was Glenn Davis. And so all the stores are open. And I mentioned in my last video that I, um, I have a, uh, collectible shop that I, um, have procured a spot in. And so I have a bunch of my cards and memorabilia, um, being sold there. And I don't know why we're open. I mean, it's, um, I mean, there's just, there's not a lot of business coming in. It's Jeff Russell. But, um, you know, I'm grateful for the opportunity. I just, you know, I just got the space and maybe this is the wrong time of year to, um, it's Randy Johnson again, maybe it's the wrong time of year to uh, try to start a business like that uh, at a retail level. But you know what? It's just worth a shot. My rent's not that high, so I don't have to sell a lot to, you know, make it work. It's Felix Jose. Uh, Larry Sheets, oh, I forgot that he played for Detroit. This was the lean years for my Tigers. I mean, we've already gone through the um, the uh, the eight, uh, the mid to late '80s when the Tigers were um, really putting up numbers and uh, and and winning pennants. But now they're in the '90s. They were just brutal. So Greg Myers, Cabrera. And uh, Gray, Angels, that's uh, Chuck Finley, I think. There's the Yankees with, I don't know who that is. Yankees, this was also a lean time for the Yankees. Now, Walt Weiss, Ken Hill. Ken Hill was actually a Detroit Tiger draft pick, and uh, we traded him away uh, for basically a bag of balls, and then he turned out to be a pretty solid starter for most of his career. Mark Lemke, and we have uh, we have Tim Nairing. Some of these guys we've already seen. Kent Merker and Kevin Bass, Jose De Jesus, and Robbie Thompson, and Andres Santana, Brady Anderson, Roger McDowell, and John Burkett, Bruno, Mark Gubigza. And Scott Bank had two more packs. And then um, then we'll take a look at the wheel and we'll wrap it up. So as always, I, I do appreciate everyone following along. You can always like and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, you, you'll definitely need to subscribe to get in on the contest. It's, it's Hawk Dawson. And um, we have Mark Schooler and Dion James, Charlie Liebrandt. And B.J. Surhoff, Paul Molitor, Hall of Famer, David Wells, pitched a perfect game while he was hungover, Daryl Hamilton, blowing the bubble, Dennis Rasmussen, Terry Shumpert, Jeff Leonard, Rich Gedman, and a Nolan Ryan from the 70s when he was walking 200 batters in a season and then striking out 300. Can you imagine I mean, walking 200 batters? Uh, Lee Stevens, Yankee sticker. And um, what's it? Andujar Cedeno and Drabeck Lewis and Rick Russell, Tony Fernandez passed away earlier this year. Lonnie Smith, I pulled his autograph out of a 2020 Topps archive. That was pretty cool. I think I sold it on e on uh, Mercari, actually. 
for a nice price. Um, Kevin Tappany. Greg Maddox laying down the bunt. Fundamentals, kids. Uh, prospects checklist. We have uh, Ed Whitson. Greg Briley and Tim Wallach. So we're going to slide over here real quick. And we're going to take a look at the computer. Look away while I put my uh, password in. Just kidding. I know you can't see what I'm doing. Or maybe you could. Oh, no, you probably could. <laughs> uh, you just have to pause that. So now I'm going to change my password right after this. That's funny. All right. So there's the, um, the wheel of fire. So um, if you see your name on there, then you know you've already entered the contest. Uh, once you've um, entered uh, and become a subscriber, you'll be on all of my contests automatically. So um, I also have an add a prize to the wheel. And for every, every time we get 10 people on the, entered into the contest, I'll add another add a prize. And then the way that works is once we um, hit it to uh, spin, uh, if it lands on add a prize on the first spin, then I will add a, a prize to the um, collection for that day. So um, that's how that's going to work. So just wanted to show that to everybody. Uh, get in. It's still time. This, the, uh, in the description is going to be the uh, link to the video. And just follow the instructions there, and we'll get you into the contest. So until next time, everyone, have a great night.